Here he is. You getting out then or what? So I didn't want any fuss. Right, well then don't make any. Yeah. Good to see your handy work, have you? Babe, come on, let's go. I'd like to buy a drink for whoever did it. <laughs> like it wasn't you. I wish it had been. You are. Hey, hey, hey! hey. Any time. Come on. Get me inside, come on. Jay! Come on. Well, he was bound to come back sooner or later, weren't he? And no doubt he'll be upset that we haven't got him a welcome home present. Aaron seems to have a soft spot for him. Oh, well, then what a little angel Aaron must be. I just don't want him getting involved in this whole Cain and Jay thing. Hazel, there is no Cain and Jay thing. Please, will you just forget it? What? I wish it had been. But it was a shock to see him. In front of witnesses? And you know the worst thing you can do to Kane, babe, is threaten him. I know. It doesn't matter what they think, does it? I know for a fact that you didn't do it, and the police will too. It's fine. But in the meantime, please keep your gob shut about Kane, or you're going to end up talking yourself straight into prison. <sighs> right, you can sleep down here if you want. Save you going up and down. You what? Well, I thought it'd make things easier. Are you happy to be home? What do you think? Won't well, take it out on me. I've only come to see if you're all right. City rang, wanting to know if you could turn out for him on Saturday. Oh, oh! Chas, Trying to lighten the mood. Oh, no. Well, I need to go upstairs. All right, come on. I'm not flaming disabled. Well, technically speaking, you are, aren't you? Get off! Right, either do it today or do it on your own. It's up to you. I'll do it on my own. Could always get in one of them man nappies, couldn't we, then? I could just sit right, there. Right, that's open. enough. It's just a thought. Oh, must be lovely to have him back. I bet you thrilled. Yeah, I am. And you're not making it any easier for him. I'm not going to start treating him any different just because he's got a limp. Try telling that to Aaron. <clears throat> yeah, it should stay well clear. You've got enough on your plate anyway without another one cluttering up the plate. Well, he's my dad, so we're stuck with him, aren't we? Right, well, as entertaining as it is, watching him suffer, I should be at work. So you just have a lovely evening and please call me if he takes a turn for the worse. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> <It's not that. laughs> what? You might have a problem on your hands. Well, I'm losing count. Well, your dad's back and you're going to be sleeping with Andy under the same roof. I'm just wondering how that's going to work. No, we don't have to be here. We could be drinking at home. In case it comes in, you mean? I just don't think you should take on another charity case, that's all. Oh, what, like Jackson, you mean? Oh, I didn't mean it like that, love. I love Kane to bits, but you don't need to get involved, and you know we won't thank you for it. That's not why I'm doing it, though, is it? Oh, hello, Dibble. What can we get you? Thanks. I wouldn't drink here if I lived next door. Mr Sharma. Lucky for me. Well done. What do you want? Got a few questions. Would you mind coming with us? Yeah, I would, actually. I'm having a night out with my fiance. Probably have a better time down at the station. Wait, hang on to yourself. Shall we? No. Well, in that case... Joe Sharma. Further arresting you on suspicion of attempted murder and conspiracy to commit theft. You what? You do not have to say anything, what but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned. Wrong. Something that you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Let's go, shall we? Babe, don't worry about this because it's a mistake, isn't it? I'll call a solicitor, right? If I were you, I'd fork out for a good one. Tim, 
attempted murder. He should get life for this. Have you seen what he's done? Oh, shut up, Aaron. Do you want a slap? You see? This is what they like. You want to lock her up and all. I'll bear that in mind. Look at me. It's going to be all right. Shouldn't you be down there? What, sat in a waiting room for hours while nobody tells me what's going on? Well, you know, good to him up here, are right? you? Yeah. Oh, Jazz, I really appreciate all the support. Mmm, support. Yeah, cos in my book, you should be banged up with him. Cos you've never put a foot wrong in your life, ever, have you? Stuff your brandy. <clears throat> Police have just been to the pub. They've arrested Jay. What's the charge? <sighs> Attempted murder and theft. Theft? What, for his car? Yeah, they were banging on about that in the hospital. Reckon Jay took it? Well, they must do, otherwise they wouldn't have arrested him, would they? Attempted murder and theft. That'll add a bit to his sentence, won't it? Have you any idea at all why you're here, Mr Sharma? Not a clue. Really? Well, we've picked up the guy who took Kane's car the day after he was attacked. And what's that got to do with me? We were hoping you'd be able to tell us. I've no idea what you're on about. Oh. Then one of you's lying to us. His signed statement says that you paid him to tow away Kane's car. That you told him the car wasn't safe to be driven, it had to be towed. Why would you do that? I didn't. He was quite convincing. We believed him anyway. Then you've made a mistake. We've had the car looked at, and there are clear signs that the brakes have been tampered with. What can you tell us about that? I don't know what you're on about. Oh, I think you do. Now, if you're going down the complete denial route, at least try and make it a bit more convincing. Forensic reports came back yesterday. And? Show nothing. So I can go then, can I? Help me with this. Someone you say you've never met makes up a story about you paying him to get rid of Kane Dingle's car. Yeah. And insists that you warned him not to drive it, it had to be towed. Well, he must have, mustn't he? Why would he do that? Look, Kane is obviously trying to set me up. Oh, right. He's trying to set you up. Yes. You seem like an averagely bright guy to me. Run your own business. I just can't get my head round how stupid you'd have to be to tell some bloke, don't drive the car, I tampered with the brakes. Oh, well, Kane, Kane obviously did it himself. And when that didn't work, he beat himself senseless just to set you up. Well, have you asked him? You know, he's the one that's been in and out of police stations all his life. You know, you'll have to forgive me, but this is all a bit new to me. Well, the way things are going, I'd get used to it if I were you. You're going to be here for quite a while. It's a bit late for tonight, but you can pop it in the fridge for tomorrow. Oh, Ta. Huh? You're all right. Remember what I look like then? Dad. It's not fair on you to be cooking meals for everybody all the time. My dad not with you? No. He had some work he had to be doing. Did he? Too busy to visit his own son, eh? I did try to get him to come down now. Sort things out. But you know what he's like. Yeah, I mean, you need him nowhere to be seen. Being in hospital and not changed you one bit. That'd best be off. Keep the pot as long as you like. Thanks, Lisa. You paid someone to tow away his car and told them not to drive it. I mean, what kind of idiot would do that? Didn't happen. Only how would you know it couldn't be driven? Because you'd tampered with it, hoping Kane Dingle would kill himself. That isn't true. You know what kind of idiot would make up all this stuff and, uh, and arrest a completely innocent man? You know where the car was found? Of course you do. You told him to put it there, in a lake. Next time I'd recommend torching it, but you're not very good at this, are you? And when the car thing didn't work out, you took a blunt object, waited for him in the dark and tried to finish the job yourself. I wouldn't do that. You're wrong. No, I'm not. I am completely innocent. You're making a mistake. The fact that we can prove you set out to cause potentially fatal harm to the victim is the last piece of evidence we needed. Jay Sharma, we're charging you with the attempted murder of Kane Dingle. <laughs>